Okay, continuing working with the Pogo Plug Mini Arm Device uh, that I got for $7. So far we've got in through the serial port and we've started up the Telnet and SSH servers that are on there by default. Uh, and so far I've been Telnetting in to do a lot of this stuff. And um, although that works, obviously it's, it's not the most secure because it's not encrypted. SSH would be much more uh, likeable. So, so on my screen split here, on the top screen, I'm logged into uh, the Pogo plug uh, using Telnet. And you can see here, uh, again, it's currently running a pretty old uh, kernel. Uh, it was compiled a long time ago, six years ago. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what happens when I try to SSH in, which I've mentioned this in a pretty previous video. So I tried SSH in as root because it's my user, only user right now. Obviously, want to change that later on. Um, but you can see here I get an error that there's no matching key exchange method found. Why is that? Well, as I just mentioned, this uh, device is actually pretty old. It's been discontinued. That's why you can get them for seven dollars. It's still a great little device. You know, for seven dollars. Once you get under the ten dollar mark. I consider it, uh, uh, you know, the device to be disposable. You know, like I can leave it somewhere and not care. Um, so, what do we do here? Why isn't this working? So again, this is an old install, and uh, DropBear, which is the SSH client and server that's running on the Poco plug, is a very old version. In fact, if I do DropBear uh, dash dash help. And we scroll up a little bit, you can see right here it's version uh, 0 0.52, which I'm not exactly sure. I went to the Bear Drop uh, website uh, a little bit ago, and it looks like like five years ago they stopped numbering them like this and started the version started coming out by uh, as the date. So like the most recent version was uh, came out in late 2016, so a few months ago, and I think it's called version 2016, whatever. Which I love when they do that with version numbers where it's the date, so you know how old it is off the bat. So it, it's old. So the problem is it's using old encryption keys. It's using SHA-1 here that it's stating, and by default my computer, my version of SSH, is going, whoa, that's old. I am not going to do that by default, but I can force it to. So that's what we're going to do right now. So if I add this to it, uh, and I'm going to put this again in the notes in the link in the description, so I'm saying SSH-O, and I'm telling it to use this type of key, which is what the server's using, and then I can log into the server. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'll type in my super secret password. And now I am logged in uh, through SSH, which is encrypted and better than Telnet, but uh, this old type of encryption um, is susceptible to some sort of attacks uh, where it uh, overflows it with logs or something like that. I'm not too familiar with the attack. So better, but definitely uh, we're gonna wanna look at upgrading that if we can in the future. But right now we do have it working. I don't have it opened up to the outside world. It's only on my local network and I'm just using it to play around right now and I don't have it running 24 seven. But definitely if you're gonna have it opened up to the world, you're gonna to want to probably upgrade that drop bear install. But let's have another look. I'm gonna exit back out. So now I'm back on my main machine. Uh, you might think, oh, I'm going to try to um, SFTP into this server. And again, you might try to do it like so. And you're going to get that same error. So let's go ahead and just replace this with SFTP. And so I'm running the same SSH command, but with SFTP. And we start getting a login, but it doesn't happen because uh, currently there is no SFTP server installed on the Pogo plug. But we can still scopy or SCP. So I've created a file here on my desktop computer called test. If I cut it out, you can see it's, it's a text file that says my test. And if we run our SSH command like we were before, but we change it to say SCP, I can then tell it to take that test file and put it in the home directory of our pogo plug for the root user. If I list out here, you see there's nothing in the home directory now, and I am in the home directory there. If I hit enter, I can type in my password, and now you can see that that file has been transferred. So we can now transfer files encrypted, even though it's an old type of encryption, we are transmitting things encrypted, which is 
still better than Telnet, and Telnet doesn't really have a, a file transfer protocol that I know of, although we could probably use uh, Netcat to do that if we need to, but obviously SCP is a better option. You can you can move over full fo folders that way. So uh, so yeah, again, look at this. This is pretty long, but that link is in the description. And you can set up your, your computer to default to that, but you really don't want to. You, you, you want to realize when you're doing that. Um, so again, uh, I have a lot of things I want to go over on the Pogo plug, and uh, we're either going to have to compile or find a static binary of drop bear from a trusted source. Um, I might do that in a future video. But there's a few other things I want to show you as well. And we semi have got it working now with what's already on the system, which is kind of the point of this series is working with uh, mostly what stuff is on the system already, even though we upgraded BusyBox in the previous tutorials. Anyway, that's it. Check out the links in the description. Uh, you'll find all my uh, link to, to my uh, Pastebin account with all the notes. This will be there as well. And as always, please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link to that in the description as well. And if you like my videos and want to become a supporter, you can support me over at my website. There's a, a PayPal link there. You can also support me monthly with my uh, Patreon, patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. There's a link to that in the description as well. Even a dollar a month is very helpful. Uh, I thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day.